Hi, today we're at Lake Casitas, California. Wow, take a look at this. These are swallows' nests. These are cliff swallows, Petrochelidon pyronata, or pyronota. Wow, all these nests sticking on the roof here of our restroom. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see some babies. We can find peeking their heads out. Hello. This guy, oh, that's an adult. Here we have another adult, brownish neck, black head cap, white strap in his forehead. This one here is a little baby sticking his head out. He's hungry, or he's hot, or he's hungry and hot. So they make these little nests, or muddy nests, with little doorways. And in nature, you find them along the cliffs, sometimes up to 2,000 in a single colony. But you can also find them in their little structures here, like our restroom, bridges, highways, maybe under the eave of your house. So they breed in North American summer, then fly as far south as Argentina for winter. These are good guys. They like to fly around all day eating swarming insects like mosquitoes, gnats, flying termites, flies, other annoying insects. But they also eat our friendly bees. That's too bad. And you find these nests a lot near like watery marshes or ponds. Then at dusk, they return to their nests for nighttime. So species, Pyronata, it literally means flame-colored back. He's described as being a passerform or a perching bird. Three toes forward, one toe back. It's monomorphic, so the males and the females look alike. He's five inches long, short legs, small bills, dark brownish plumage, red cheeks, dark throat, black crown, white strap on his forehead here. And don't confuse cliff swallows with barn swallows, because there's a few differences. So first, a cliff swallow, their nests are mostly made of mud, typically these single little openings for the doors. Barn swallow nests are made of both mud and other debris, and they're usually open on top, but they could also have little openings as well. And second, although they share the same coloring, mostly cliff swallows, they have this white stripe on their forehead. And barn swallows, they have a little rust-colored patch. So finally, when they're flying, cliff swallows have a squared off tail. Barn swallows have a longer traditional swallow-like fork tail. So what do our swallows mean in folklore? Well, swallows are associated with Aphrodite in ancient Greece. They're known as the bearers of good luck. And harming one could also bring you very bad luck, a very bad fortune. Wow, so don't hurt these guys. All right. Now, if they do this at your house, Right away, just get your hose. Oh, there he goes. Sharp blasting hose and just blast the nest down before they have their babies, all right? Otherwise, you'll uh, be killing a lot of babies. And nobody wants to do that. There he goes. Oh, see. Keep scaring them away. They don't like me. And these guys are famous for their annual March migration up to Mission San Juan Capistrano in Southern California. Oh, okay. Well, that's this video. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.